this project was about to introduce year sevens, um, how Syrian refugees live and how actually the journey goes and uh, what they actually face in the journey. It's basically about refugees and their life. So year sevens have been chosen and basically they're going to be shown how refugees feel like, like their journey to different countries, for example, like to Germany, because some of them have to walk and some of them have to be trafficked by boats. We're making a questionnaire to give out talk about the attitude towards refugees and how they understand basic facts about refugees like the difference between a migrant and a refugee which is very different by the way. Also we've been making a script as a part of a, of a group that is doing the end of like when you arrive to Europe and the struggles of actually getting here and what happens when you get here though. Our room is going to present the journey of the refugees entering Europe and uh, that's going to be presented in our room by uh, putting a barbed wire in the middle of the room and putting in a backdrop of um, the European countries. Um, this will show the isolation of the refugees and the Europeans. We made posters like these. There was the graffiti, there were the graffiti signs that were used in the Syria conflict. There was a group of teenagers, they, were, they wrote graffiti on the wall that against the uh, against the regime. They were tortured in the prison and this led to their parents protesting. They say save the children. This explained that um, they didn't have uh, much uh, opportunities or rights in their country. So that's why they, they have used the uh, posters as a uh, give us freedom as they didn't have any. So on this big sheet of paper with that we've stuck, we're going to be drawing the Eiffel Tower. So it shows that we are in Europe and we've made banners. Um, to show that people don't want the refugees to enter Europe and people are searching stories and pictures. So what we're trying to do is like get year sevens, cram five of them inside this boat right here. So we just made like some waves and other things in here. So there's going to be five people here. We want to make them to feel how it was, how the refugees were like, you know, how dangerous the ball was, so we're just going to cram five people right in here. Our aim is to allow uh, the young children to understand how hard it is for the refugees to enter Europe. Tomorrow we will have uh, a room each, and I group we have the fourth room, which will be about what, what happens when you actually get here, the many difficulties you have to go through, and how and struggle of learning the language, and actually being able to communicate and integrate it in the community. Uh, we have made stickmans like this, uh, the cut, paper cut out and uh, our plan is to, for tomorrow when they come they're gonna write on top of it to tell them how they feel before and after about the Syrian conflict. Also we are uh, we've given out the questionnaires. I've just made these balloons they've got information like, like what's happening there like why why is what's happening there and why is why is ISIS doing that. We've done study boards questionnaires and for fun, I believe like four shops, some of the pictures, so the kids feel more comfortable. Tomorrow, we're going to introduce the year sevens and like make them feel comfortable at our store. We're going to have word searches, toys, food, questionnaires. One of the questions is which five countries do you think most refugees go to? In the morning, in our groups, we decorated the classrooms to prepare for the year seven day and this day was to take the year sevens through the journey of the refugees trying to go into Europe. There was cake sales and there was also a second-hand um, store for the community to buy from it. There was also word searches and other activities that the year sevens could join and take part in. At the beginning of the journey, the Year 7s had to go through a tunnel to represent the refugees smuggling from their country to uh, one of the European countries. I said you cannot go out there, give us some money before you go. So they continued the journey by going through other classrooms which represented different countries um, from Europe. People from each group were mm. acting as the French residents and they had banners up which were saying we don't want refugees here, go back to your country. A group of our class went to help out um, in the Syrian day where we volunteered to organise children's activities and take part in the Syrian traditional dance. 